hello and welcome to the channel if you haven't done so already make sure to like and subscribe and uh yeah i appreciate that so much thank you guys for all the new subscribers welcome to the channel i hope you guys are enjoying the content now my content is a little bit you know different it's a little bit everywhere but i try to be what's the word for that transparent i guess that's it um if i am wrong i admit it um, if I am right, I am right. Just kidding. Um, most of the things that I do on this channel is mostly just grabbing articles and reading it to you guys and then sharing my opinion with you guys as well, too, which is, you know, that's why you're here for my opinion, because, you know, I'm not getting paid by a big company or any other sponsors. It's all me by myself. So, yes, I do all the work. <laughs> or the research or lack there of research <laughs> but anyway <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about another quality issues from tesla um there's no doubt about it that tesla is one of the worst when it comes to quality controls and then they don't like to take responsibilities for their action and then if something does go wrong with your vehicle whether you need to get um a part replaced or whatever it's going to take a really really long time for you to get that done because what they're doing is their first priority is to build as many cars as possible so they're going to use they only build the parts for that specific cars they don't make additional parts for cars that need it like for this um, classic example which i'm going to show you right now is um yeah so let's go ahead and do that Okay, so here is the article. Tesla shipped Model 3 with a missing brake pad and told customers it sounded normal. It's not normal for a brand new car to be um, already squeaking like it's, you know, brake pads are pretty much worn. So here we go. According to a report from the drive, one customer received her new Tesla Model 3 on December 19, only to find out that it was sent to her while missing a brake pad. Just a day after receiving the car, she contacted Tesla to let them know that she didn't, it didn't sound right. She shot a video of the car, sent it to them, and received this response. The brakes sounded normal for a performance Model 3. Have a quick listen to the video below. So, they told her that it sounded normal, and it did not sound normal. It's not normal for any, well, <sighs> brakes makes noise but not that loud loud noise where it's scraping the calipers you know yo i'm sorry not the calipers but your um your rotors misspoke there but i will not cut it because that's not how we do things over here we go on let me see if i can show you guys that video so here is the video that she made and i hope my sound is up hear that even though i couldn't hear it because i didn't have on my headset but it's okay um i've already seen the video so tesla said it was completely normal and um it's not normal it's not normal so if you hear anything coming out of your brake pads or any time you push the brake you should definitely get it checked out to independent shop or uh, independent tesla shop so anyway she called she picked up a brand new Tesla's reported noise. First available service appointment was three weeks out. Asked to submit a video of the problem, which she did. And response from Tesla was the noise was normal. Obviously, nothing is normal. Um, a rock or pedal stuck between the rotors, which is, you know, it happens. Um, but you always want to make sure to double check that, even if it is just a rock or a pebble or something that's stuck in between the calipers or, you know, yeah. So I drove the car to an independent shop to have a wheel inspected. Hello, we have received your video. I had a few technicians take a listen and believe the brakes sounded normal. Nope. In any case, after Tesla initially told her that it would be weeks before they could offer her an appointment to see the car, she decided to take it to an independent Tesla shop on December 23rd. Upon removing the wheel and the technician found that there was no brake pad whatsoever on the inside of the rear driver's side brake rotor. The calipers itself was simply pressing into the rotor. In, the, in case this is your first time hearing of such a thing, let me tell you, both the <laughs> rotor and caliper were properly ruined. 
So not only is she needing a brake pad, so now she needs new calipers and as well as new rotors. I would replace that whole assembly if I were, if I was in her position. I would definitely have them replace everything so you can get a brand new one. <clears throat> Some might rightfully wonder if there's any other possibility explanation that could the pad somehow fallen out of the, after the installation. No way. No way. I don't think it would have fell off. I think they just didn't put it in and didn't check. It's not like they test every single car that they um that they make, which you should test every single car, put them through a rigorous pro uh, test to make sure that they're actually properly, you know, working like they should. But obviously they didn't do any of that. I don't know if they did or did not. I don't know. I can't really say for sure, you know, if they test every single vehicle that comes out of the factory. You can say that because of the pads can only fall out when they're so used up, they can slip between the calipers and bracket and the rotor. The shop can be at fault because the car was making the noise from the day the owner received it. To add insult to injury, the team at Tesla has handled the situation like it's very first time anything has ever gone wrong with their cars. <sighs> Goodness gracious, these people. Oh, God, when you're paying the amount of money that they're asking for Tesla, and I'm not knocking Tesla, I love Teslas. I just wish that they would make quality product and make their consumers happy. Yes, you're going to have a very small percentage of cars that's going to be faulty, but it seems like it's a very large, uh, large amount of cars or a lot amount of cars, so however you want me to say it, but there's a lot of cars that has issues with fit and finish and not just this issue might be just like a one-off where somebody forgot to put in a um a brake pad in there um but when it comes to quality and fit and finish they fail i think they're one of the worst companies when it comes to that they're number one and seems like toyota is taking a note from them and wants to <laughs> go that route too with their tundras there that's being assembled in San Antonio. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to uh, go check it out. <clears throat> but anyway, it goes on. Watched as the wheel was removed and learned there was no inside brake pad installed on the wheel, called the Tesla road size and had the car towed directly to the Tesla service center. Is that it? But here comes the Should kicker. So they say there wouldn't be any appointment for three weeks, right? And then, I'll just read it here. Waited almost th three weeks to be given a loaner, and now it's been more than three weeks since the car was towed to the you know, service center. They say they're waiting on parts and continue to push the ETA back each week. If Tesla can build and ship new cars, why can't they warranty the repairs being done? Okay, so I'll answer that question. Here we go. They are warranting the repair, but the problem is their main priority right now is to make as many cars as possible because they're not really making any money when it comes to servicing your vehicle or when it's needed for repairs. Just like when you crash your Tesla or whatever, it may be in the shop for weeks at a time because they're waiting on Tesla to give them those certain parts and majority of those parts are being, you know, first priority for the cars that they're building. So that's why you're seeing your um, your your ETA for getting your car back is getting pushed back and back and back and back because they're focusing on the cars that they need to build and push it out so they can make more money, etc. But that's just my opinion, my thoughts, and uh, yeah, that's possibly could be happening. So. Maybe that's the reason why. Who knows? Who really knows? But, you know, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, you have yourself a very lovely day. Out of here.